Hey guys and girls, welcome back to your second uh, questions video here in this series where we just go through some simple to advanced questions on the lessons that we're having in the lesson series. So uh, assuming you've watched that, let's just go ahead and check out the questions here. As you can see, I, I made 10 questions and per usual, I'm just going to you know, tell you to pause the video here and answer these questions for yourself. And just in a few seconds, assuming you've paused it and you've done your thing, I'll just wait here, you'll do them, and then uh, just in a few seconds, I'll go down. So pause the video now and calculate. All right, I'm assuming you're done, so I'm just going to go down, and we're going to take one question at a time, and we're going to go through them. So how should you prioritize the calculations? Well, you start with the parentheses, that has the first priority, the exponentiation, which has the higher priority. I haven't gone through that yet, so that's why I didn't make any examples with the exponentiation. But if you get this, you'll get that, so don't worry about it. And then multiplication and division as the third priority, and the last priority goes to addition and subtraction. Okay, that's the last priority. So let's just get started with the calculations here. So 5 times 2 plus 1. How do you do that? Well, you start by doing 5 times 2 Okay, 5 multiplied by 2 is the first thing you do, and then you add the 1 in the end. So that gives you 11. You don't start by doing this or going in this order here. Okay, and the third question is 5 multiplied by 2 plus 5 multiplied by 2. So that here as well, since plus is a lesser priority than multiplication, we do all the multiplications first. So we did the two multiplications first here, and then we added the them together in the end. Okay, and here is the fourth question. Here you see we have a lot of additions and then one multiplication and then another addition in the end. So how do you go about doing this? Well, you do the multiplication first because it has a higher priority than anything else here. So any additions, just ignore them. Do the multiplication first, which will give you four, and then here, and then you add them together, which gives you 15. Okay, the fifth question is Parentheses. Well, we have an addition. It has a lower priority than multiplication, but we have a pro we have a priority thing here uh, with the parentheses. So what that gives us is we first calculate what is in the parentheses and then we multiply because it has a higher uh, it has the highest actually uh, priority here. So that gives us four and then we multiply it by two and then we get an eight. Okay. And the next question is the same thing. We have a priority thing here, then we have a multiplication, then we have a final addition. So how we go about doing this? Well, we do this first, then we multiply whatever is done in here with 2, and then we add 1. So that gives us 9 in there, then we multiply it by 2, and then we add 1 to the end. The seventh question is the same thing. Now we have some multiplications and additions in our parentheses, as well as outside. So what we do is we do everything in here first and since in here we have this and this we do the multiplications first and then we add those then we go and proceed so what happens is that what happens is that we are at we are at 7 so it's 8 plus 2 in here okay this is 8 this is 2 we do that and then outside we can do our multiplication finish that so that gives us 8. And then inside, we add those together since it's a parentheses, priority. 10 plus 8 equals 18. Okay? The next one, we have double parentheses inside. Even more stuff going on here. So what you can do is you have to calculate this first, then the multiplication, then the addition, then you go outside, you calculate your multiplication, and then you add it all together. So in that order. So we calculated it first, first, we got 4. Then we went ahead and calculated the 3 multiplied by 4, gave us 12. Then we added plus 2, okay, and then we had this multiplied. You can do that. If it's outside, you can multiply it and just uh, make sure it's, it's done. So then we had that multiplied, and then we added it, and we got 18. And now we got some simple ones. We had some division to do as well. So division is the same as multiplication right in the in the sense that it has the same priority so 10 divided by 2 plus 5 multiplied by 2 plus 5 so we do this first this first and then we add everything together 
So that gave us 5 plus 10 plus 5 gives us 20. And then we have the final one here. 5 multiplied by 2 by 2 and then minus 5. So all of this we do first. We can do 2 by 2 which gives us 1 multiplied by 5 which gives us 5. Or we can do 5 multiplied by 2 which gives us 10 divided by 2 which gives us the same 5. Okay, so this whole thing will give you the same. You can do this in any order. And then minus 5 in the end. And that gives us a 0. So I hope that helped you. Here you have everything you need. Uh, basically some good questions to learn. And I'll be putting these up as a text version per usual. So thanks for watching and have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.